first i wanted to talk about kriya in elaborate way now i'll talk about this kriyas clearly first understand kriya is neither technique nor non doing or upanishad it is all three put together and something more the spiritual working are three th- three ways one doing technique blow the right nose left nose so many things technique and non doing techniques just sitting in unclutched way third upanishad neither doing nor non doing master's presence is working kriya is all three put together here you are doing you are also made to sit in non doing and master's presence is also working that is why i am saying kriya is dhyana nirvikalpa upanishad all three put together second each kriya i am teaching you i am sitting 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 and using the whole enlightened consciousness using my own body as guinea pig i am practicing and bringing it to you please understand during my illegal imprisonment days i have picked up this whole knowledge of hatha yoga and started doing conscious scanning now i am making that whole knowledge into practical bits and pieces making it available to you every day as one one kriya yesterday many of our disciples were shocked when they saw me just sitting on vajrasana many would not have expected i am getting many emails many people are sending me sending me emails swami ji we were enjoying you doing the kriya actually i myself sitting and doing every step in the room not only consciously scanning i am on consciously practicing also and seeing all the effects and side effects only then i am bringing it to you one if you practice this kriya just physically without my presence or without having the feeling connection it will work like a technique a very powerful technique it will heal you physically immediately but if you are doing it in my presence with a strong feeling connection and all this kriyas not only heal those disorders it awakens your kundalini you are very cell is taught to be immortal the lesson of nityatva immortality is awakened in every cell of you so please understand it's a very powerful spiritual process yesterday yesterday i was creating the designing proper kriya for insomnia care almost i lost my sleep please understand one more important thing 
I am not just blabbering whatever comes to my whims and fancies. No. I am making it very clear to all of you. Now whatever I am teaching is from authentic yogic literatures. Now this asanas, kriyas, pranayamas, mudras, bandhas, all are from authentic yogic literature. That is why I am giving you exact verses. I can give you the source of the verse also. Today, the asana I am going to teach is from Garanda Samhita, Upadesha 2, verse 39. Every line I am teaching is from directly from the source. My contribution is I experimented it with the modern day body, my body. Whatever is working and whatever part, see which asana is working, which part, which pranayama is doing, which healing, which bandha is working on which organ. I have done all this experiment, research and development on my system using my body as guinea pig. And from my experience, I am sharing it with you all. This is my contribution. Otherwise, knowledge is time-tested, foolproof from source. All you guys, my disciples, go around with a lot of pride saying, I follow the tradition from the original source. Bottle that source in its pristine purity. That is one of the important thing. I am not interested in you wasting your time. That is why I am bringing you the authentic source. See, the problem is, if you have to bring it from authentic source, you yourself should have an enlightened consciousness to do the research and development on you and find out clear analysis and present it. What to do when that is not there? Then, come on, pick up some, some whims and fancies and Get some western methods and techniques here and there from some psychosomatic therapies. This therapy, that therapy and all that. Hyperventilation and all that. Anyhow, all that is going to do little good. Come on, let's teach. Satisfying themselves and satisfying others. Cheating people without even people knowing that they are being cheated. I am telling you, Everything I teach is from the source. Every instruction you get is from the source. Dear Swamiji, can you explain to us the exact principle on which Kriya works? Sheetal Das Pune. Sheetal Das. Understand? Just these few truths. Just like blood flow, breathing flow, air flow, thought flow, you have something called energy flow happening in you. Blood flow, breathing, air flow, thought flow, you have something called energy flow continuously happening in you. In this energy circulation, energy flow, if there is a disturbance in some part, for example, liver, kidney, or heart, intestine, at some part, if there is a disturbance in this energy circulation, that is where, that is when you start developing diseases and disorders and disturbances.
ഡിസീസ് ഡിസോർഡേഴ്സ് ഡിസ്റ്റബൻസസ് എക്സ്പ്രസസ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ഇൻ ഡിഫറെന്റ് വേസ് ന if your body is put in certain position that energy blockages get removed the energy circulation that system that plumbing gets properly aligned the wiring gets properly aligned after that that kumbhaka starts pumping the energy into that circuit the putting your body in certain asana makes the circuit blockage free the circuit becomes perfect but only through the kumbhaka the energy gets pumped in into the circuit this is exactly the principle on which kriya works even for few seconds if the energy circuit route is aligned and energy is pumped you are out of the disease you are out of the disorder you are free sital das that is why i am saying these kriyas are not not just ordinary asana ordinary yoga postures ordinary kumbhaka ordinary pranayama it is like a two different chemicals separately if you take it may take 10 years for you to cure the disease but mix properly in one certain combination it removes the disease in two days in one dosage i can say this kriyas are my unique contributions to the world the kriyas have seven ingredients one yoga second kumbhaka pranayamas third visualizations fourth verbalization means chanting of some mantra internally see internally when you create the sound it is called mantra externally when you listen it is called chanting so mantra internal verbalization then fifth chanting external the sound you are hearing and sixth now i am adding karanas the different shiva tandava karanas seventh i am adding the lat recent discoveries of modern day gymming and weight lifting so all these seven put together i work on your body and mind creating yogic body and vedic mind body i'll call a body as a yogic body when it has power stamina flexibility physic energy all the five put together is yogic body i am using all the seven ingredients to create yogic body for you and now i already started creating developing kriyas especially to break certain mental patterns certain mental patterns so all of you can have the benefit of this kriyas for curing the physical diseases and kriyas for healing the mental disorders
this exact principle on which kriya works 